With a clear focus on developing the world-class Yanjibana Rare Earths project, Hastings Technology Metals is well positioned to become a significant supplier to the critical minerals sector. Located 900 kilometres north of Perth, in the Gascoigne region of Western Australia, the Yanjibana Rare Earths Project is one of the world's most advanced, situated close to the regional towns of Carnarvon and Onslow. The Yanjibana deposit has elevated concentrations of two of the 15 rare earth elements. Neodymium and praseodymium are both vital and high value rare earth elements needed for the components of devices and technology that are essential for our modern lifestyles and in the emerging area of humanoid robotics. Increasingly, these elements are being recognised by governments around the world as critical to the global energy transition, forming a key part of permanent magnets needed in electric vehicles and wind turbines, both key products to help the world achieve net zero emissions. With global demand for magnets expected to increase around three times over the next two decades and limited new supply coming online, the opportunity is clear. The Anjibana project will be developed in two stages, with an initial focus on the mining and beneficiation at the Yanjibana mine site. The resource at Yanjibana has consistently increased since 2014, with the most recent update underpinning a solid 17 years mine life and significant exploration potential. Importantly, the NDPR to total rare earth oxide ratio at Yanjibana is considerably higher than other global rare earth deposits, making it a valuable asset. Early infrastructure works at Yanjibana are well advanced, including the site access road, airstrip, war field, communications towers and accommodation village, which will support main construction. Mining will be conducted from several pits using a traditional drill, blast and haul system. In the early years of the mining sequence, the eastern trend is targeted, containing higher levels of NDPR to total rare earth oxide. 1.1 million tonnes per annum of ore is crushed and blended on a ROM pad The crushed ore is then treated in the beneficiation plant through a grinding mill, reagent conditioning and rougher flotation before progressing to a regrind and four stages of cleaner flotation. The concentrate is then thickened and filtered before being loaded for transport. Throughout the process, the water is recovered and recycled to create a more sustainable and profitable mining operation. Critically, this beneficiation process upgrades the rare earth content by more than 25 times, resulting in an output of 37,000 tonnes per annum of concentrate at 27% total rare earth oxides. When stage two is developed, the concentrate is transported 400 kilometres to the proposed Onslow hydrometallurgical plant where it undergoes cracking, leaching and drying. In total, 15,000 tonnes per annum of mixed rare earth carbonate is produced at 59% rare earth oxides before being shipped for further processing at separation plants in Europe. The global transition to zero carbon technologies and increasing focus on geopolitical risks are accelerating the demand for rare earth elements. Yanjibana is well timed to supply high value NDPR to the e-mobility and renewable energy market this decade. Once developed, this world-class project will establish Hastings as a significant player in the critical minerals sector generating strong returns for shareholders, the Australian economy and local communities.